the million dollar market that you can get in on. So I'm asked all the time, how do I might make more money? How do I expand what I'm doing? And the number one way in the million dollar market most of you are overlooking is federal government contract. I'm going to go deeper into this because you may say, well, I already know that. Can I really make a million dollars? Yes, yes, yes. One of my students, actually, she is in the middle of closing a $2 million contract. It'll be her first federal government contract, as well as with those who have interviewed on my channel, several of them have won contracts and it was their first time. Many think, okay, federal government, it must be hard, it must be difficult, there must be some trick to all of this. Really, can you make a million dollars? And the answer is yes. There's a variety of things that you can sell. You can sell services like janitorial, like staffing. You can sell products like phone covers, things of that nature. So this is a space where the sky's the limit. If you're like, oh, but Kizzy, I'm a medical doctor, I can really sell products, yes. Like the only exception in this space of federal government contracting is if it's so specific, like fighter jets or something like that, but at the company level. Otherwise, there's so many things that you can sell. So the other thing about federal government contracting and why it's a million dollar market that you are totally overlooking is that there are all these set-asides that you can bid on. If you're going after 8A, SDBOSB, WOSB, things of that nature, because the thing is about them, you can take them and really scale your business. You can easily grow by having a set aside. The key is knowing how to go about it. That's what's key. There's an actual strategy that is required to do it. So getting the set asides are amazing, especially for those of you out there, you, you have grit, you know how to persevere. You love talking to people, like you, you're you kind of a natural born salesperson. Then it's perfect for you because you have to sell yourself in the federal government space. And also for those of you where maybe you're like, yeah, but I'm not a beginner and this seems to be so beginner oriented. Well, let me share some things for you. So let's say you're experienced business owner, maybe you're making multiple millions a year and you're like, well, how do I get into this space? So it's, it's very, very simple. Number one, it begins with mindset. It's abundance. It starts with your mindset. This is where it always begins. This is a space where I would say many of the people I coach have full-time jobs and they do this on the side. There's a gentleman in my Facebook group who put a goal out there and he's like, oh, I'll probably meet this goal in a year or a couple years. And he's like, once I meet that financial goal, then I'll be able to take a step back, let go of this employment and step full-time into federal government contracting. It happened within months for him. It can do the same for you, right? So for those of you who are interested, let's say in staffing, for instance, you may wonder, well, how do I go about doing that? Well, first and foremost, most of the government contracts that involve a human being, I personally deem staffing because the person's doing it. Whether it's you win a contract for 500 hours for a sign language, opportunity, it's for interpretation, it's for somebody to create your common access cards, whether it's for security, just the list goes on and on and on. So first and foremost, the federal government has a wide range of opportunities that involve human beings. So for those of you interested in that space, for instance, I have a a coaching client, uh, we just ended our um, Ultimate Edge. It was a program that I put out there. I said it was a one and done, it's one and done. And she's won three so far, almost five religious opportunities. And at the end of the day, it's staffing. Find the opportunity to bid on. She puts out there that she's looking for a certain type of religious professional. She fills it. And within a couple months, the program only lasted like three months. She's won almost five contracts. I mean, this is amazing. For So for those of you who are interested in staffing, maybe you're not staffing the exact positions you staff today, but if you open up your mind, right? We're here in abundance, y'all. Abundant. If you think in the terms of abundance, then the sky's the limit, okay? That's why this is a million dollar market that most people, like, they don't think about and you can do it. Are there rules and regulations? Yes, there are different rules and regulations depending on what you bid on. So for instance, with the VA, if it's service disabled veteran owned small business, typically they have a policy where you cannot subcontract more than 49% to a business that is not classified as the same as you, that is not similarly situated <laughs> is a technical term, okay? So if you bid on something with the SDVOSB, you wanna sub it out, well, you're gonna have to sub it out to another SDVOSB. 
the VA is very, very serious and strict about this. For all the other organizations out there, there are some like the FAA. They don't even follow the FAR. Not every organization follows the FAR. So there's like all this noise, like, oh, don't get busted. You can't subcontract. Oh, you're scamming. It's just like all this noise because people don't view life in terms of abundance. They view life from their limited place. So when it comes to subcontracting, first and foremost, I explained about the VA. Second is look at the rules and regulations for that opportunity. Sometimes they're very specific. They will say you can't sub it out. Sometimes it's contradictory. It'll say like you can't sub it out, but then they use language around subcontractor and vendor. So you ask. Often when it comes to opportunities on SAM.gov, sometimes on Unison, it's just a cut and paste. That's it, it's just a cut and paste, y'all. So ask clarifying questions. You can sub out things, you can sub out a lot, however, comma. Doesn't mean you just, oh, I'm gonna walk away, I'm out, I'm out here. I subbed it out, they're gonna do the floor. You still have to be actively involved. This is a million dollar market that you can get in on. You can, it's about, how? How do you want to do it? If you're like, I only want to do copywriting and things like that. Okay, well, your opportunities may be like pretty narrow. But if you're like, look, I just want to sell something to the federal government and make 500 more a month, 1,000 more, 20,000, 30,000, whatever your number is, there's no right or wrong. Then this is, then you have this many opportunities because most of you watching, you're a small business. I'm a small business. It's a great distinguish to have. The vast majority of businesses in America are small businesses. And so the federal government sets aside around 25% for us small businesses. So there's so many things that you can bid on. Maybe you also offer your services to existing government contractors. Who knows? But there's a lot of avenues you can take. So this, com this question is another very common question. It's your company. You set the margin. It's as simple as that. As long as you set it so that you're able to win it. So here's what I mean. If an opportunity is for, let's say it's for cell phone cases, right? And you find a connection and you find funding because you're going to have to pay for the cell phone cases right? And you're able to get the cell phone cases for $10,000, but you're like, oh, but I want to make 50%. So you want to sell them to the government at 20,000. This could be state, local, federal. In order to win the opportunity, they've made it clear that they are basing the award of the contract on the lowest price, right? So by putting your price at $20,000, you run the, the risk of losing because you're doubling the price. So you have to put yourself in the shoes of the government. If you're the government, why would you pay double the taxpayer dollar? You wouldn't. So maybe you only add 5%, you only add 10%, you only add 15%. But then there's another opportunity, right? It's for a creative writer. And the evaluation criteria is based on their resume, based on some writing samples. So you theoretically easily could add 50% because price isn't really a factor. So you may have one body of work where you're making five, 10% and another body of work where you're making 50%. That often happens with industries is they, the amount of margin that they make tends to vary on what they're selling. Now the intent is, Hey, I want to make the highest margin as possible, but sometimes that isn't the case. Like the margins in restaurants tend to be really low and in other areas, because this is a million dollar market that you can get in on. You can get in on this. So whether you're brand new, you're in this space, you're like, okay, maybe it's definitely the place for you. So many things you can sell. With my flagship company, we have a variety of staffing, religious positions, admin, IT, training, virtual reality, so, so many different out there. And with my students, I have one on the verge of winning a very lucrative janitorial contract. I've had others win religious work, uh, cement paving, training, janitorial, construction, IT, and there's tons of interviews that I've done with amazing GovCon winners who have won a ton of work. I mean, Mark is out of Alaska. He went from couch surfing to moving back home in Alaska and winning, a, I think it was $440,000 janitorial contract. At the end of the day, this is a million dollar marketplace that you can get into. Over $500 billion a year are spent on federal government contracts. On pretty much everything that you even see in this the screen or the scene i guess or, you know they buy ring lights they buy cell phones they buy glass they buy tables they buy chairs they buy lights they have housing 
They buy floors, they buy clothes. So it's all about what do you want to sell? And it's something I can't give you the answer for because it's your business. But what I can say is when you have an abundant mindset, everything is possible. You are surrounded by abundance and have everything you need to create the life you desire. Trust that the universe will provide with you everything you need and be open to receiving. That's what's key. Okay, y'all, you're amazing and I'm serious. Like thousand percent serious. Everything starts here. The mechanisms on how to find, bid, and win contracts, it's pretty much everywhere. Just the basics. You sign up, you get a cage code, you bid, you put in pricing, you win, you execute. But what prevents people from doing it, puts them so far back, and they're fighting for their excuses, lack of abundance, poor mindset, being around tools, people who say, no, you can't, why are you trying to do that? You know, all these people pulling you down. Again, you all are amazing. This is a million dollar market and you can be a part of it. You can get in on it. It's abundance. There's money's being printed probably as I'm speaking. There's so much money, so much wealth in the world. So when you turn that on, you're gonna be able to win a government contract. There's no reason you can't.